On April 13, 2019, near Clint, Texas, a small group of Mexican soldiers confronted and disarmed two American soldiers on American soil. See, the two U.S. soldiers, they were one team out of 150 teams conducting mobile surveillance missions down on the border. And they were operating south of the border fence, but north of the Rio Grande River. The Rio Grande River, that's the actual divide between Mexico and the United States of America. But in some places in West Texas, the river can dwindle down to a trickle or seasonally even change course. So the border fence was built just a little bit north of the river. You know, there's a long history across other administrations of using military troops on the border for surveillance missions. For example, in 2005 under President Bush, the first squadron of the 14th Cavalry was deployed down to the border for 30 days in New Mexico, about 150 miles west of Clint, Texas. This striker unit did a simply outstanding job of acting as force multipliers for Border Patrol, and they were never disarmed. Now the Pentagon currently has the Mexican military incursion at Clint, Texas under review. But this is not the first time we've had standoffs of the Mexican military on American soil. On January 23, 2006, in Hudspeth County, Texas, just about 20 miles east of Clint, Texas law enforcement officials had their own standoff with the Mexican military after intercepting cartel members trying to smuggle three SUVs filled with dope across the river. Sir, uh, what's your 20, sir? Coming up on the 78. Yeah, Coming up on the 74, y'all guys be careful. Be safe before uh, when y'all get out there. There were two, uh, two military dressed uniformed men in the Humvee. One was driving the vehicle and the other was uh, mounted on a um, 50 cal of the Humvee. Do you have any military experience? Yes, sir. I've, I've used the, I used the 50 cal. You used it, okay. The Toyota Forerunner was already in the in the river, and it was right over there, parked. Once the expedition came through, they tried to go up that bank right there, and they got bellied up. I mean, they were dressing all all of drab fatigues. They all just fanned out, you know, east and west. They deployed. And they deployed and. Once they deployed, I lost track of them. I know we could see one in a foliage over here back this way. I know I saw one of the civilian guys go over there and made him take his cap off for purposes. I believe it's for the insignia. The insignia. I know we're in the we're in West Texas and uh, forgotten down here, but you know we do have a lot of trouble down here. You know, Hudspeth County Sheriff Arvin West, he'll tell you that this wasn't the first time his deputies ran into Mexican troops escorting cartel dope into the United States of America. This is just the first time they got it on camera. In fact, since 2004, there have been over 300 unauthorized incursions of Mexican military and police into the United States. Now we know what those two American soldiers are doing north of the border. And perhaps this Pentagon review of the Mexican military incursion at Clint, Texas, will help us determine just exactly what the Mexican military was doing north of the Rio Grande River on the American side of the border. I'm Chris Burgard, and this is Breitbart.